You know, <laughs> I didn't want to have to do this right now. But every now and then, things happen in life that require us to get our hands a little dirty, if you know what I mean. So with that being said, I would like to go ahead and warn each and every last one of you watching this right now that I am about to step out of character for a few moments throughout the duration of this video. So if you are a overly sensitive adult, because last time I checked, we were all supposed to be adults here, right? So if you are a overly sensitive adult that can't handle someone saying a few bad words, if you cannot handle me saying a few mean things to someone that has done something that is absolutely disturbing, disgusting, vile, and downright evil, then do us both a favor and go ahead and click off this video. You're welcome to come back on the next one. But I honestly, the way I am feeling right now, I do not have the time or the patience to entertain a single comment from a snowflake that gets offended by the language I use in this video. I don't have time to entertain a single person who's upset because I was maybe a little mean to someone that did something as disgusting as what this person did that we are about to address in just a few seconds. Now, I would like to think I would like to think of myself as a nice guy. I'm very easy to talk to. I am very easy to get along with. However, I have this little switch inside of my brain. I like to call it the I don't give a f switch. And when someone or something flicks that switch, any f that I would have ever given, it goes right out of the window. But to be clear, I never ever stoop down to anyone else's level. No, I do not do any stooping. I take luxury trips down to people's levels, okay? I take first class flights down to people's levels because I am not afraid to fight fire with fire. I am not afraid to get my hands dirty. I am not afraid to get downright nasty when needed. And after I handle my business, I move back on up to that deluxe apartment in the sky, just like the Jeffersons. So, now that all of the crybabies are out of the room, hello, Zav girl. I know you're watching this video right now. Usually, I start out my videos by introducing myself. But here, there are no introductions necessary because I know you remember me. And on the other hand, I could never, ever forget that stale ass face no matter how hard I tried. And I seem to remember that you were very instrumental in spreading lies about me and others during the Kylie Rodney case. In fact, I remember that you were very instrumental in spreading all of the nonsense that was surrounding the Kylie Rodney case. And if my memory serves me correctly, you used to have eight hour live streams where you would invite a panel of people on to talk trash about me and to harass the family of dead and missing kids. You did a lot of disgusting stuff back during the Kylie Rodney case. And you know what? The type of person that I am, and trust me, a lot of people, including other YouTubers, have had to find this out the hard way. I don't always address things when they happen. What I do is I make a mental note and I put it in the back of my head and I patiently wait for the right time. You see, I have studied the art of war. Not only do I know where to move my chess pieces, I know when to move my chess pieces. And I think that time has finally come because it has come to my attention that you, Zav girl, have stooped to a new low. 
the lowest low that anyone has ever stooped to in the true crime community. And that is saying a lot because I have seen a lot of disgusting things come out of the true crime community, some of which came directly from your dry ass mouth. But anyways, it recently came to my attention that you have been online literally selling pictures of deceased little kids. Yes, you heard me right. All of you in the back who are unaware of this, Zav Girl has been online selling photographs of a deceased little boy. And any of you, I, I could already see it now, but wait, we know Zav Girl. Zav's a good person. No, she's not. You don't know Zav Girl. You think you know her. I tuned in and I skimmed through a half a dozen of her live streams and I didn't see this woman say a single word. She literally sits there for four or five hours straight and makes confusing faces like while watching news clips. You don't know Zav Girl. You haven't even really watched Zav Girl say anything. She doesn't even provide opinions. She sits there with a stale ass face looking like she survives off a diet of nothing but Cheez-Its, Marlboro Reds, and freaking Barton's Vodka. She sits there just staring at the screen, making confused faces the whole time. And for some reason, y'all sit there right with her dumb looking ass, looking at these news clips as if you can't watch the news clips without her stale ass face in the corner going, huh? Hmm, what? It's so absolutely sickening. I honestly don't see how anyone would waste a second watching this wannabe hippie watch news clips. And I have no problem with people playing news clips, but honestly, I was going and skimming through this lady's live streams trying to see what, what she be talking about. She don't talk about a damn thing. She just sits there looking stupid and constipated the whole time. Like this lady looks like she is straining to get one of those hard spiky turds out of her behind. I wouldn't be surprised if she has used the money that y'all weirdos, and I don't mean y'all watching this, but these weirdos gave her to look at pictures of a dead kid. She's probably using all of that money on stool softeners. But yeah, anyone that's here to defend Zav Girl's character, you don't know Zav Girl. How could you? This woman said all of three things throughout the duration of her YouTube career. She sits there, acts confused, she plays stupid, and she invites controversial people to come on and talk crap on her live streams. She provides nothing of value. And she knows that. Which is why now she has resorted to charging people to look at photos of a dead child. Hey everyone, come sign up to my Patreon. For only $3, for the small price of $3, you could look at autopsy photos of an 11-year-old so we can make fun of their dead body. I kid you not, that's what this woman has done. She is charging people $3 to join her Patreon so they can view pictures of a deceased little kid. I'm not sure how many of you all were aware of the Gannon Stouch case. Maybe I'm pronouncing that last name wrong. To be clear, I never covered this case. I don't know anything really about this case. I know that an 11 year old boy was killed by his stepmom. I believe there was a trial recently. Well, anyways, Zav Girl has taken it upon herself that, hey, I'm going to take autopsy photos of Gannon. And I'm going to charge my viewers to look at them. Now, if that's not one of, not even one of, if that's not the most disgusting thing that you have ever heard, then I don't know what to tell you. The true crime community, I say it all the time. I don't put nothing past these weirdos. But I'll be damned if they don't come up with a new way to just make me absolutely disgusted and sick to my stomach every couple of weeks. And this is a new low. This is a new freaking low. And the absolute worst part about this conniving, dehydrated, head-ass bitch is when she gets caught up or called out 
for doing something wrong, she puts on that same dry ass, stale ass, who framed Roger Rabbit head ass, confused face like, huh? Me, huh? What did I do wrong? What are you talking about? As if she doesn't know that what she was doing was wrong. She knows that what she was doing was wrong, which is why she didn't put the, the photos on YouTube. She put them on Patreon like, hey, everyone, come on. Come on, come on. For the small price of $3, you could look at a deceased little boy's autopsy photos. Yes, you could look at this disturbing photos of this little kid who's dead now. And, you know, the trial's over and this doesn't help anything. This is not useful at all. But, hey, I know that you guys are weird just like me. So give me $3 so I can afford hair moisturizer and stool softener. And I will give you photos of a dead kid in exchange. Listen, Zav, and all of your little YouTube cronies, if you or any one of your little YouTube cronies so much as mention my name, if you so much as mention my name, I will make it part of my morning routine to get on your ass. I will wake up, I will take a crap, I will take a shower, and then I will dedicate 30 minutes every morning to hopping on your ass and making sure that any and every single person out there knows that Zav Girl likes to sell pictures of dead little kids. You done messed up. And to the freaks, weirdos, and perverts that decided it was a good idea to give this dry head ass lady $3 to look at pictures of a dead child, karma is going to come for you very swiftly, just like it's going to come for Zav Girl, and I think that she knows that by now. But to those of you all who did not participate in this nonsense, who maybe for some reason enjoyed this disgusting piece of shit's YouTube content, let me tell you this. Listen, I know that sometimes you may be lonely or bored, and putting on a, lo a long live stream, it kind of keeps you company. I know I do it too, but there's other people out there. I don't like to tell people who to watch and who not to watch. If you want to support someone who is trying to make money off of pictures of a dead child without, without the permission of the family, I mean, just, oh, I need money. Let me charge people $3 to look at photos of a dead kid. If you feel the need to support that, then that's on you. But for those of you all who are disgusted by this, just know there are plenty of people out there you could watch. There are plenty of live streams out there that you could watch that actually provide useful information, that actually provide valuable, interesting opinions. Zav Girl, you're not getting nothing from that. Maybe it passes your time, but in all, all in all, I bet you if you went and looked back at these live streams, you would realize, just like I realized, that it's just this woman sitting there. Huh? 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 While showing y'all news clips. No one needs that. You can get your entertainment somewhere else. Okay? It, it's not that hard. But with all of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video before I go even further off the rails. And I want you all to understand that this video... This is me being as nice as I possibly can to someone like this disgusting piece of human garbage. This is as nice as I could get. This is not me being mean yet. This is not being, me being hateful yet. This is not none of that. This is me being as kind and friendly as I can to someone who is trying to make a profit off of selling pictures of dead kids online. Let me know your thoughts about this, though, down in the comments below. While you're down there, remember, if you're one of Zav Girl's friends and you say something I don't like, you're only going to make things worse on Zav Girl. But also, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell, and who knows, maybe I'll have to hop on this woman's ass again tomorrow. We'll see how I feel.